Happiness is not about what the world gives you, how much water is in this glass. Happiness is about what you think about what the world gives you. If you think about it properly, you will always see there is something to be grateful and something to be happy about. Can you imagine a world where 10 million people are happier? My, my algorithm is very straightforward. I, I developed it because I could not really define what happiness was. So I took as many arbitrary points of data where I felt happy and tried to find what was common between them. What was common between them was the equation of happiness. And it is this. Happiness is equal to or greater than the difference between the way you see the events of your life and your expectation of how life should behave. In the modern world, we mix two states. One of them is happiness and the other is fun. Happiness is that peaceful, contentment feeling of, I like the world as it is right now. Fun is the modern world's replacement of happiness. It's, you know, when I am unable to reach that state of happiness, what I do is I go out on the weekend and I go to a party and boom, 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 and my, my brain stops thinking. As long as it st stops thinking, I, feel, I think I feel happy. Happiness is not about what the world gives you, how much water is in this glass. Happiness is about what you think about what the world gives you. If you think about it properly, you will always see there is something to be grateful and something to be happy about. I think losing Ali was the call to action. I lost my son all of a sudden, like from, you know, from having a, a happy holiday together to losing him was four hours. And the question that hit me at the time was, what can I do now to bring him back? And nothing I could have ever done, including locking myself in a room and crying for the rest of my life, could bring him back. And to me, the whole idea was, I can either choose to suffer, or I can choose to sort of accept life as harsh as it has become and try to make it slightly better than it is today, make it slightly better tomorrow. So the way I did it was very interesting. I, I basically set myself a target. I said, wouldn't it be amazing if I can reach out to 10 million people and just give them that message? It wouldn't bring Ali back, but it would be slightly better than the day he left. And that is truly, truly, I would say, success for my life. There has never been a moment in my life where I felt I was having a better impact on the world than this.